I believe in hard work, resilience, and family. When I was in sixth grade, I tried out for the Science Olympiad team. I was so encouraged that I was going to make it in and that I was ready as I could ever be. I got confident that I was going to make it in and ace the test. Too confident. When I finally took the test at first sight, I was okay with the questions. They were easy, but as I flipped the page, I was startled. Questions that I could not comprehend. Words I could not even figure out the meaning to. Things my brain could not even understand. I took the test anyway, with a 25% chance of selecting the right answer from the multiple choice questions. When I went home, I was upset. I couldn't sleep fully. I couldn't think properly. My mind was on those questions. The AP level questions, 24-7. When I came home that night, as I usually do, at 3.32 p.m., I did not do the usual things I do, such as throwing my backpack into my designated backpack basket or lay down on the couch or talk to my mom, who was always waiting for me in the kitchen. No, no, I was a little different this time, and my mom knew it too. I did not throw my backpack into the basket. I did not lay on the couch. I did not talk to my mom instead. Instead, I sat on a wooden stool in front of the aisle island in our kitchen staring off into the distance my mom knew something was happening so she asked me what's wrong she asked with a bit of hesitation i said i didn't get into science olympiad my mom was a little bit upset because we both worked so hard to try and push myself into science olympiad but i did not make it in but instead controlling her emotions she said it's okay try harder next time and that was the moment that that was the moment I realized that my parents loved me. After a year, I tried it again in seventh grade. I was sure I was going to make it in this time. I knew all the questions and answers. I was ready, but I didn't want to get overconfident in myself like I did last year. I then took the test, and the next week the results came, and I got selected. I was extremely happy, and so was my mom. When I came home, I was beaming with joy. Every time I went to a meet, I would remember the amount of hard work I put forth into the test, the amount of support I got from my family, and I never gave up.